everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm on site today with Josh. Josh has been doing sanding, and he's going to be doing some more putty work on the board, just getting them really nice and cleaned up, so as soon as I finish up with all these walls, we're going to have nice surfaces to do staining and painting upon. Uh, and what I've been working on today is just more on this wall. You can see I've been throwing the wall boards uh, up, uh, sort of uh, together, keeping them uh, in sync with each other as I've been going up. And that's really important on this particular surface because these uh, wall boards are going to be joining with the wall boards over here in the middle, and then with these, once they go up and over the door. And it may seem kind of surprising, it may seem like, you know, they're all the, they're roughly the same size, so by the time you get up to the top, they should be about at the same height and you shouldn't have to worry about them falling out of sync with each other, but almost all the time you fall out of sync. So uh, what I'm trying to do to prevent that, and the problem with falling out of sync is that uh, you'll have like one wall that's too high, one wall that's too low, and then you want to have a board that continues right across it, and you end up having to kind of trim the board and do all sorts of weird things. It takes extra time, never looks quite as good, uh, and it's great if you can just keep things in sync as you go. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring down from the tops of this uh, beam here. Um, 44 inches is right about, uh, you know, right uh, where the top lip of these boards are. So I'm just making marks of 44 inches, and it could be at any height, and I've been doing them at different heights as I've been going up. Uh, and I'm just trying to make sure that as I come across, I'll start to see variations in the heights of these. I'm looking right here, and the, the distance between the top of this tongue and uh, the mark is a little thicker than my index finger. When I come over to this one, it's only about half the thickness of my index finger. So that means what I'm going to need to do on the next run is put a little more spacing over here, keep it a little tighter over here, and I'm just going to do that along this entire run. There's 44 inches here. Uh, right there, it's uh, about three quarters of an index finger. Uh, and I'm just going to do it along the whole run, and it'll just give me kind of a visual gauge. Here it's a whole index finger, here, so it's about the same as it is down over there. It'll give me a visual gauge, so as I'm coming along, I can add little gaps where I need to in order to get these boards nice and even and nice and consistent as they, as they come along here. The biggest gaps are right in here. It's like the floor, I think, slumped a little here, and uh, you know, nothing's ever perfect, so you know, that's, that's ordinary and expected that there'd be little variations, but it seems like uh, when I put the boards in here, they were lower here, and now what we're trying to do is just get them all nice and in sync with each other. So I'm just going across and doing that. I've got a couple more to do. Other than that, I had a really great meeting today with the uh, electrician that uh, is going to be helping me. I hadn't heard from him in about two weeks, uh, but I, I gave him a call just the other day, and I didn't hear back through the phone, but he showed up this morning. I told him that I'm pretty much every morning here, uh, you know, between you know 8.30 and 12.30, so he anticipated I was going to be here. He came here. We had a really strong, positive meeting, I think. He's totally got it. I'm going to hire him as a consultant for about, I think he said like 90-something dollars an hour. That seems fair to me, uh, you know, to pay for his expertise. I'm going to be doing all the wire pulling, uh, have all the wires dangling out, and I'm going to bring him in when that's all set. He'll wire things up, and he'll help me with things uh, in relation to, you know, where I need to put uh, different things, the spacing on things, including uh, smoke detectors and, uh, you know, uh, carbon monoxide detectors, those types of things. That was something we walked through the whole house, and I got more information in about two minutes from talking to him than I had in, you know, a lot of time going online trying to figure this stuff out. It's always great just to be able to go to a person, ask them a question, and you get an answer back. So, really positive about that. We still have the grounding issue with what the last electrician did, but it's solvable. We can come up with a solution for that. What we really just need to do is create some additional grounding, and we have a lot of options for that. We've got dirt out in the greenhouses on the side over here. We can just kind of run out over there. There's lots of different options we can come up with. So, good meeting. We've got some challenges and some problems to solve, but none of them are unsolvable, and things are going forward, and I'm just feeling just it's like it's an emotional roller coaster, the whole thing. I'm up, I'm down. I don't think that's necessarily my personality. I think that's just the nature of building a house, I gotta say. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.